inspired by how they make spirits in Europe, much more so than a lot of other places, especially the Caribbean. Um, in Europe, they use a lot of these beautiful alembic copper pot stills. In the craft spirits world in the United States, it seems like a big deal is to get the biggest possible still with the biggest possible column. And it's not at all how I think. I would much rather that we make our rum on these smaller stills that are 100% copper, that are really old school and traditional and a throwback to you know, the earliest traditions of distilling in the world. Um, so we have double reflux in our stills. People talk a lot about it's distilled four times, five times, six times. Um, in these copper pot stills, that's happening naturally. There's, there's a lot of redistilling happening within the still itself. So we get our sugarcane from Louisiana, from amazing family growers um, who we're connected with. We just had one of them here visiting us in our distillery a couple days ago. So we also use about 12% of the molasses that was in that original um, stock of sugarcane. And that brings out every single delicious thing that was in the sugarcane to begin with, but without refining it and taking out all the amazing flavors that we value so much in the distilling process. Our fermentations last about six days. They're open. After about six or seven days, the yeast is spent. The alcohol levels are about 17%, and we pump them into the stills.